Hey guys, Paul from Ultimate Fapper here, and today I'm going to answer a very common question that many new creatine users have, and that is, what's the best time to take creatine, before or after a workout? I'll be right back with the answer in just a couple seconds. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. So let's get right to it and answer the question. What's the best time to take creatine, before or after your workout? You've probably heard numerous workout gurus tell you absolutely, positively, without a shadow of a doubt, the best time to take creatine is after your workout to enhance uptake. But here's the thing. Almost every single study performed on creatine monohydrate doesn't specify a dosage schedule. In other words, these studies don't confirm that taking creatine after a workout is any more effective than taking it before or at any other time of the day for that matter. Well, why is that? Well, clinical studies are expensive and they take time to perform. And when you add new parameters to a study, you immediately increase the study's complexity. For example, in order for me to conclusively prove that taking creatine after a workout is most effective, I'd need my study to have at least one or perhaps two other control groups to compare the results to. In other words, I'd need one group of people taking creatine after their workouts, one group taking it before their workouts, and perhaps one other group taking it randomly throughout the day. And then, of course, I would need to track the results of all three groups to determine which dosing regimen is the most effective. See what I mean? Not only does the study become exceedingly more complicated, time-consuming, and expensive, but the likelihood of human error also increases. What do I mean by human error? Well, in this case, what I mean is people forgetting to take their dose of supplement when they're supposed to take it. Now, you'll notice I said most studies don't. There is a relatively new study, and it's very small, and I've included a link to it in the description below this video, that does confirm taking creatine post-workout leads to better results, likely as a result of more efficient uptake. However, because this was a relatively short study performed with a maintenance dose only and no loading phase, I'm not entirely convinced this question has been answered for good. And here's why. If you repeated the experiment and had both groups take a 20 gram per day loading dose for five days, you might not see any difference in performance since peak muscle saturation would have already been reached and the enhanced absorption effect of the post-workout supplementation would be lot much less dramatic. At any rate, that's really neither here nor there for now. So let's try to answer the question, what's the best time to take creatine before or after a workout? Honestly, the great thing about creatine is that you don't really need to sweat it too much. It works no matter when you take it. If you want to take it post-workout, by all means do so. It might give you a slight edge. The other benefit of post-workout supplementation is that you can get away with mixing up your creatine with some simple sugars, like maybe some grape juice or something like that, to further enhance absorption. Taking it post-workout is probably the best strategy for you if you don't want to mess with the loading phase and want to keep the maintenance dose as low as possible. If, on the other hand, you want to take it at some other point in the day, you can do that too. Uh, I wouldn't take it before a workout in case you get some stomach upset, which some people do get. Remember, creatine is not something you need to take before you work out. You need to take it daily to maintain muscle saturation. Okay? So it's not like a pre-workout that you take before you work out to make it work. You just need to take it daily. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found that helpful. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, I would love it if you give us a thumbs up or share this video. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? You'll be updated whenever we post new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.